This is Stephen Brown in Southwest Florida, Lehigh Acres to be precise. And I'm back again with some more exciting what's going on in the landscape. Right behind me is a Canary Island date palm. Just look at it right here. This is a just a bad deal for the Canary Islands. What has happened? Well, the fronds, the leaves have collapsed all around the trunk of the tree and circling the trunk of the tree with this massive depression. And I bet I know what it is. But it's not only this one that the calamity has occurred. Follow me around here and let me show you another one. This is the second palm with the same symptom. Again, the fronds has collapsed on themselves. This is actually a pretty common symptom with regards to Canary Island date palm. And we get a lot of questions on this. So let's try to figure out what's wrong with it. Again, I have my suspicions. All right, I'm going to be pulling this off and we're going to examine the top or the base of this front. So let me pull. Ah. Okay. Now I want you to be really careful when you examine this because the base of the Canary Island have these vicious spines. And believe me, you don't want to get one of those in your hand or any place else. Okay, if you take a look at this, you see these many holes here? These are the exit holes of the weevils. So the palmetto weevil probably as adult already exited this. So I don't expect to find any grubs or the larval form at this particular time. But we may lock out and we may see some evidence. But look at this. It's already turning into delicious compost. I'm going to pull down another frond to see if we can find more evidence of the weevil that is apparently, by all evidence, killing these two palms. The best frond to pull for evidence of this is not the frond that is freely already detached, but it's one that's showing resistance. That means there might be some weevil still at the base of these palms. I'm not that strong. You'll notice that the apex of this palm has rotted and has keeled over. Look at it right here. You see that? That's all weevil killed. That's the spear leaf. Look at that. Ah, look at this mess. Okay, so we got one there. Here's another one. Base of the palm. That's two out of this one here. Let's see if we, yeah, here's one right here. So we got three beauties from that base. Let's see what else we got. And you can see the material here is not as brown and not as composted as the other one. Okay, let's dig some hour out. Okay, here we are. Here's another one. This is at the base. Here's another one. Is that the base? Here's another one. Man, these feel funny. Ah, God. What I gotta do? See? Let's keep digging. This is just one base. And imagine how many bases we have there. Alright, I got a bag here. Ah, goodness. Got some in the bag. Now, we're gonna go further down. There we go. See that right there? Okay. There you go. Add it to the bag. Okay. There we go. Add it to the bag. Ah, here we go. Well, I think I'm losing count. This doesn't stop, does it, ladies and gentlemen? And this is why there's a large exit hole. Because these are large creatures. Uh, that's about it for this base of this frond right here and let's count and see how many weevils came out of this one leaf base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, look at that, 10, 21, 22, 25, 26, 32 palmetto weevils. I'm going to show this to the homeowner and get her reaction. And this is what was in your palms. Let me open it up so you can get a good look. There we go. Oh! <laughs> oh! See? They did it, not me. I'm innocent. Oh! Okay? Oh my god! This it wasn't awesome. me, it was them! Oh my god! This is Stephen Brown, and there's always something new to learn in the Florida landscape. Oh, 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 oh. See you next time. <laughs>